What's up guys, it's Lee here, the rental guy from the rental shop. You know the rental shop. Five years ago we started this bad boy from the garage, now we're here. And you are in the vlogs, this is the weekly vlog, we highlight the week. How has this week been? Well, I'll highlight it for you. It's been good, bad, ugly, all of it. All right, let's talk about having a million problems and learning how to deal with them. Uh, we've had website outages, which have severely uh, dropped our profit this week. We have had injuries. I injured my hand uh, quite nicely. Uh, we've done great successful tent setups. The wind's been crazy. There's 85 kilometer gusts right now at uh, a big tent setup that I have going on. Uh, let's talk about profits. Let's talk about all of it. Let's get into it. So this week we made roughly 18K, which I was hoping it was gonna be more because our website's been down. So uh, we've been missing out on multiple web shop orders. Uh, it's been down for four or five days now. And in that range of time, usually uh, through the weekend, we have seven, eight orders. Basing it on the weekend before, because it's the same general summertime, we've probably missed out on three to $4,000 in online web shop bookings. Uh, which really hurts me, uh, but I'm trying my best to get the website up and running. Uh, it may mean Monday that more phone calls come. People that were going to book through the weekend might just uh, be calling us on Monday, but I don't know um, because uh, it just alarms me that those web shop bookings aren't coming in. Anyways, we made 18K this week and uh, we have 30 orders currently going out. Uh, as for staffing, um, a lot of my employees are starting in July. So right now we're just trying to get through June with uh, me, my wife, my daughter, and a full-time employee and a part-time employee. And then we have three or four more people coming on board full-time uh, starting in July, and then we just can go ham on it. But right now we're relying on uh, being meticulously scheduled and um, you know loading using all of our vehicles. So we've got three different vehicles and you know utilizing, uh, you know, I'm working uh, extra hours during the weekends doing pickups. I can load three vehicles at once, then they're back here. Monday comes, the guys can unload them, or, you know, I'll unload one, and, you know, we can juggle stuff around with multiple vehicles, which is great. Um, there's been lots of weird customers, you know, they never read the emails, they show up at the wrong time, uh, in spite of us uh, giving multiple messages to them, but that's okay, that's just with it. What I have to tell myself is we're in busy season, don't cry about it. This is what we enjoy. So I have to find ways to enjoy it because I mean with all this bad that's come this week, you know, hurting myself, the website down, there's plenty of good that comes with it. I mean, we're a great company. We're still making lots of profit. The vehicles are all currently running right now. Um, you know, what more can you ask for? And I've got you great followers. So on the order for today, I'm just picking up this running event that we did, some pop-up tents, some tables and chairs. The nice thing is, is that one guy can get more work done uh, because of trucks, right? So I can load this up, I can take it back to the shop, but I don't have to unload it. I can have the guys unload it when they're working on Monday. Uh, that way I can take the other truck and go uh, pick up the walls that I need to pick up for a tent install and uh, no unloading needed. Multiple trucks is uh, multiple solutions. All right, let's talk about having a million problems and learning how to deal with them. So yes, owning a business is great. Making money is great, um, but bigger problems come and more problems. Uh, but you know, you see yourself uh, with more green lights than red lights. A red light is a hiccup, a green light is a, it's go time, it's life is great. Uh, this last week I smashed my hand up, it's all bandaged up. Um, we got the van stuck with the skid steer on the back. Um, we had to get towed out, that cost us a tow and a whole day's worth of time. There was rude customers and um, other than that it was pretty damn dang good. Oh, and the website went down and it's still down. It's terrible but um, all we can do is look up, right? Um, also, I'm short-staffed, 
right now till July because the uh, majority of my people can't start till July. So I'm working through the weekends to execute this. However, it's great exercise for me and I earn my days off and I save money on labor. Uh, plus sides and ne negative sides to everything. So you gotta kinda take the good with the bad because there's always gonna be some bad. Uh, you know, we're in the business of solving problems for people and our own problems seem to arise during that and it's just how we deal with these problems. So I should be heading home right now, be done for the day. However, uh, there's 70 kilometer winds expected for tomorrow. And I know that the clients uh, won't even be on site at the tent. And so they'll probably have the tent walls open um, and the 70 kilometer winds are gonna blow them all around and bend some hooks. So I'm going out there and I'm taking all the tent walls down uh, just to alleviate this problem. So what I have done is I've recorded clips this year that explain the customer's responsibility with the tents. You know, to do up the walls when they're done, how to do them, how to care for them, how to deal in emergency situations. However, I haven't record, I haven't uh, edited these videos and put them into uh, content that I can push over to the customer just yet. So um, going down to take down some walls. All right, you know what? It's time to learn how I take off a wall. So uh, with my walls here, they unbuckle. So they unbuckle here. You unbuckle it from the pole. These are rod tension walls. They have a rod in them uh, and they're absolutely fantastic for um, a quick takedown. Okay, so takedown is very simple because they uh, slide on the cross wire here. You see how there's a tag on the outside here and it labels what size the wall is. This is an eight by 15 wall. So we wanna make sure that that tag is on the outside when we roll it up so that when we're picking it for an order, we know what size it is. And very simply, just grab a chair or something and grab at your height so that you don't get exhausted right here and just start twisting, undo the one and then you just jump it so it doesn't raise on the ground. It's already disconnected over there. So roll it up. This is how you take a wall off in a minute's time. See, I'm not getting tired because I'm bunching right here. And I'm just bunching it together with my fists. That's how one wall gets taken down. One wall. So again, to stay organized, uh, we've got our delivery separated on the yellow paper and our pickups separated on the blue paper. So tomorrow when I'm out uh, taking down the tent, I can just hand these over to my main guy, Noah, and he knows what to do. He knows that, oh, okay, the blue sheets, I'll just follow that and I'll go do our pickup. The yellow sheets are for whatever deliveries are going on. Orange sheets are kind of like a little post-it. I hand write, uh, you know, what I'm gonna do for the week. It's like Monday, Lee goes out to Humble to take down the tent. Noah does take backs. Noah does pick up orders that are out. Tuesday, Lee finishes tent take down. Preps orders for the week, unload, unload trucks. Uh, Wednesday, you know, pack this order into the box truck. Thursday, pack this order into the box truck. So this is just kind of like uh, my handwritten syllabus that goes over, uh, you know, where these sheets kind of go so that I can just think of the whole week so I'm not forgetting anything. Anyways, moral of the story for the week is take the good with the bad because if you're doing business on the whole of things, things will be good if you just keep progressing. That's the vlog for the week. I gotta go, it's Father's Day, I've got dinner. Check out the hat. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. If you like this video, press like, watch something else. Uh, let me know in the comments and we'll see you on the next one. As always, you stay classy.
So I'm taking down this tent here. That stage isn't mine and this flooring isn't mine. I have used uh, like horse stall mats for sub flooring uh, under dance floor, but I never thought about just this straight up sub floor for the whole tent. Of course, you know, this one has like some cedar on the ground or something like that, some mulch, but uh, the horse stall mats, it feels really, really nice. <laughs> 